Late to the party on this one. Time zones and day jobs mean I'm about 16 hours later than every other reaction video that's already on YouTube. That being said, here we are with the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Looking forward to this one, even though I've had a complicated relationship with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Saw so the first one at the BFI IMAX in London um, all those years ago. Took my kids to their first IMAX screen and it was an amazing experience and we all loved the film and then came back home to find we'd been burgled. Scum. Subhuman scum. So have that connotation next to that. Uh, second one I just didn't think was that good. Although the holiday special that's just came out on Disney Plus did bring some Guardians joy back into my life. So I'm looking forward to this. Know nothing about it other than a photo of Will Poulter that I've seen. Uh, first reveal is Adam Warlock, so that's possibly spoiled a little bit of what's coming up for me. Before we get into this, can you do me a big favour and press that like button? Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Now let's watch that first trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We were gone for quite a while. The music's always on point. But no matter what happens next. Ooh. The galaxy still needs its guardians. Hello, we come in peace. That's not Earth. <laughs> come on, Drax. Seriously, dude? No, 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 no! Ow! <laughs> Dodgeball! <laughs> I'm done running. We'll all fly away together. That was one last time. That's so sad. Into the forever. Ooh. That beautiful sky. Kill a few people. Kill no people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Now you're just making it sad. <laughs> Stallone. I just saw Stallone. A lot in there. Lots of flashing imagery. It looks stunning. The look of it. The scale of it. I've always loved the whole look and the cinematography with his Guardians films in terms of the bright, bold colours. You saw that shot of them all dropping out the ship and they all had different coloured primary jumpsuits on. It's just pleasing. A lot of the Marvel stuff you get in these days is kind of got that muted, flat, low contrast look. I think for most of the time, for the CGI to kind of look a little bit better. But yeah, there's lots to unpack there. Lots of blink and you'll miss it moments. So I'm not going to have everything covered. And I only have a very basic knowledge of Marvel history other than what I've seen in films and what I've read in interviews and other things coming up and a few comics here and there. You do get the impression that the stakes are quite high and... It's going to be the maybe the last adventure for some of them, particularly Rocket. And I think we, we saw like baby Rocket there. And there was that bit, the speech where he gave, where it was, um, we'll all fly away for that last time or something like that. And it looks sad. And it just, I don't know if Rocket's going to make it in this. And I could be wrong, but it seems to be a, like a very Rocket based story. I think it could be at the heart of all of this. So we saw maybe from his birth and maybe his creation. I think we even saw a shot in there of the High Evolutionary, who, if I remember right, had something to do with Rocket's creation. But it looks like a lot of fun. It looks very James Gunn. The humour's there. The dodgeball bit at the beginning had me. And, and Drax is always, always good value. I'm trying to think of what else we saw there. There was the bit there with the dripping blood and Star-Lord looking completely anguished. So I don't know who that relates to. Guardians has always given that impression of a very close-knit team and they all have their differences and whatever but it's just 
they gel together so well. And as soon as you lose one, like we saw with Gamora before, um, obviously we've got Gamora back in a sense in this one, and so that's that's got to play out as well. But there's that high impact of losing a team member and how it affects everyone. Like in the first one, we had Groot, didn't we? And then we had to deal with the loss of Gamora. And like I said, it pulls in that team and each one's reacting differently. And there'll be some that'll be displaying a lot of pain, a lot of anguish. But then you've got that thing where you're dealing with the reactions of the others who don't quite understand it. So Drax will come in and be completely inappropriate in the nicest meaning way. And just getting to know these characters over the years, it just seems to work so well. But yeah, that was a great trailer. I really enjoyed that. A lot more than I was expecting to, actually. What did you think? Let me know. Leave comments down below. Also, if you haven't done already, please do me a big favour. Press like on this video. If you didn't like the video, press that one twice. You can also hit subscribe, tap that notification bell. Keep up to date with all new videos coming through. We'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for watching. Looks like there's a lot more stuff coming through. So I shall see you again soon, hopefully. Take care. Bye-bye.